It's the sparkling gem on the surfer's paradise skyline, the $1.5 billion jewel in the Glitter Strip's tourism crown. But despite its 340 luxury apartments being completed in 2020, less than 90 have sold. Many of them, including the entire 34-storey South Tower, are empty and not for sale. The owner's position is that they want to uh, maximise the value of their asset. They're certainly in no hurry to sell it off. The strategy has stumped property analysts who question why the developer would forego hundreds of thousands of dollars in weekly rental income that could offset the building's overheads. Cleaning, maintaining, security, um, that is also very expensive. So it would be an incredibly high cost to maintain an A-grade building on the beachfront in today's environments. In an indication of their drip feed strategy, 30 more dual apartments have just hit the market, ranging in price from $950,000 to $6.5 million. They're not cheap and therefore the developer argues selling more of them wouldn't help ease the housing crisis. We definitely have a housing crisis on the Gold Coast where there's not enough affordable accommodation offered and I, don't, and I clearly think you wouldn't put this in the affordable home category. The housing minister argues, affordable or not, every property matters. Everyone in Queensland wants to see more housing supply and I think if you know, it would be great to see developers do the right thing. Mackenzie Collahan, ABC News, Gold Coast.